Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 12 iPhone settings that I believe no user should ever change on their iPhone. Make sure you have these settings configured the right way. They're actually really, really important and will have a huge impact on your device and of course on the daily use of your device. As I said again, these are really important so make sure you don't ever change them. Now another thing that's really important is the like button of this video. That little like button actually helps a lot. It will help this video reach out more people. So of course, those people will know how to configure the settings the right way on their iPhone, but also will help this channel a lot. So I would really appreciate if you could leave a like on the video. Starting things off with the health settings. Now this one is really, really important. Go to settings, go under health and go to medical ID. Here you tap the edit button and you go all the way down to show when locked. Now this will be very, very important. By enabling this, your medical ID will be shown on the iPhone's lock screen by tapping emergency. That's really, really important. In any case of emergency, of course, your medical ID needs to be viewed and it will need to be viewed on the lock screen because of course your device will be locked. So in any case of emergency, this is really crucial and very important to make sure that you have the setting turned on. With the release of iOS 15, we have a bunch of new options for notifications. We have now the scheduled summaries, which are actually useful for some apps, but of course there are apps that require for notifications to be immediately delivered and of course get maybe notifications or messages that are really, really important. Now, one thing that you need to make sure you do is always make sure that you have immediate delivery enabled for like messages or maybe DMs or stuff like that that are important to you and you might need to have them immediately. You can do that by going to notifications. Let's say we go under iMessage, make sure you have immediate delivery always turned on if you want to get the notification for the message the second you get the message and always have time sensitive notifications enabled as well. And for like third party apps like Instagram, for example, you might want to have the notification scheduled, but make sure that you have this option turned on right here so if we go ahead and tap on scheduled summary now you get an option here to allow immediate delivery for dms you might get dms that are really important you can go ahead enable this and make sure you get them at the right time moving on to the safari settings and now with ios 15 we have a really important new setting it is right here it is called hide ip addresses what this does it will basically hide your ip address from trackers so always make sure you have this turned on what it does basically prevents trackers from like using things like your location determining your location based on your ip address that's what it does and make sure you have always this enabled another setting on safari that you should configure the right way is this one right here block all cookies always turn this off now a lot of websites will use cookies to actually give you a better experience while viewing and surfing that website so turning this off completely will block every cookie on every website and that will probably lead to you having a worse experience surfing that site or just exploring stuff on that site so make sure you turn this off next up is time and date very simple yet very important you go to settings general time and date always make sure that you have it set on automatic if you actually turn automatic off and you just mess up the time and you switch to a manual time that is not the correct one it will give you a lot of problems while while viewing app store or just simply by web browsing different websites on safari most of them probably won't open at all so you will experience a lot of problems that you might have been experiencing right now but you don't know the cause of it just make sure that you have always the time and date set on automatic that is of course really really important now with the release of ios 14 apple has brought the new app library to ios really good i love that feature and of course it's very very useful if you go under settings and go to home screen here will have the options for library and right here will also have show in app library and that's for notification badges now most people now have most of the apps on the app library and you just keep the most important ones and the ones that use the most on your home screen probably but if you have this turned off then you won't see any notification badges on the apps that are on the app library that way you might miss a ton of notifications so make sure you always have this enabled 
When you go to your location services settings under privacy on the settings app, right here at the bottom, you will find system services. If you go right here, you will find all the different services that are using your location. Now, these are really, really important. There are apps that use your location, but there are also system services. And you will find here some really important ones like emergency calls and SOS always make sure that you have that enabled that will be really really important of course in any case of emergency you want that to be enabled and also just down below it you will find have find my phone that's the setting that always should be enabled just in case you lose your phone or it gets stolen or something like that if you have this disabled then the location won't work and you won't be able to find your phone and of course really important always to have find my phone enabled this is a great feature on iOS and now it's even better with iOS 15 because you will be able to locate your device even though it might be completely turned off. That's a huge, huge new feature that Apple has added to iOS 15. So you make sure you have all of these enabled, all three of them. Find my phone, find my network, and of course, send last location. These are all three very important for your device. So make sure you always enable all three of them. On the settings app, you now have, of course, a section for your passwords, for autofill passwords and all that, where you basically store your passwords, your logins and all that. You have here security recommendations. If you go there, make sure you always have detect compromised password enabled. So basically you use different passwords, maybe for different websites and stuff like that. And this, what it will do is that it will monitor your passwords and will actually alert you if they appear in any number own data leaks so that it will keep basically your info secured by letting you know that your password might have been leaked on the iMessage settings there's a really important setting you should always keep enabled and that's sent as SMS now of course most people that have iPhones use iMessage send as SMS is another option which will basically use the old style SMS's to send a message to someone. If someone doesn't have an iPhone, doesn't have iMessage, then you won't be able to message them unless you have this feature turned on. That of course will let you send them a message as just the old style SMS. Moving on under the accessibility settings and we have here face ID and attention. Now right here we'll have this option, require attention for face ID. What this does, it makes your device way more secure. With Face ID, if you have this enabled, you can basically have your device really secured because it will only unlock your device when you're looking at your phone. No other option. You can try this yourself. Just go ahead, disable this and see if it will actually unlock your device with your eyes closed. Your device will be unlocked. With this enabled, no chance of your device getting unlocked without you looking straight at the phone. So that way, if you have this disabled, someone might just grab your phone while you're sleeping and unlock your phone with this enabled, your device is secured. And last but not least, let's head on to battery here and we have battery health. And of course, we have here a really important setting, optimized battery charging. This will save your iPhone and your iPhone's battery. The lifespan of your battery will be much, much longer if you always have this option enabled. This will basically regulate the way your iPhone charges and will keep your battery in great shape so it will last way longer. And of course, the maximum capacity of the battery will last a lot more. So always make sure you have optimized battery charging enabled. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully these tips will be helpful for you to make sure that you have your settings configured the right way. Again, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, subscribe for more if you haven't already and leave a like on the video and I'll see you on the next one.